Don't want it to get too late. Uh, Howard, Don Miller reported that. So if Don Miller reported it, Andy Jones. Don't know. Watchers. Greetings, rerun watchers from Lounge Academy. I know you're a rerun watcher because there's a time delay and um, people have not seen the show yet. It'll take another several seconds for that to happen. I'm a rerun watcher. I'll admit it. This is Lounge Academy. This is what we call the beginning of the show, where we always wonder if anybody's going to be here, or who's going to be here. Luckily, Paul Cocote is here, and Ryan. It's all we need. We've got the basic ingredients covered. Paul is a musical expert on these songs that we specialize in at Lounge Academy. He's also known as Jocko's flight engineer. Takes the right seat. I see a lot of lounge cadets now tuning in. Um, and uh, now this is the part of the show where I try to tune in so that I could talk to the lounge cadets. I try to tune in on my own tablet here and usually it gives me a hard time. Last week it it did like now. It came right on. I'm thrilled. You just never know. And I could hear me, so there's the challenge sound check. We are good. We got Shirley Mayer. We got Richard Lambert. Richard, look at me. I'm as helpless as a kitten up Richard Lambert's tree. I get misty. A man who knows a thing or two about show business, that's for sure. Another Richard is here. Our own Richard. How you doing? Rich Sollers, nice to see you, sir. Buffalo. Wasn't that your little red room? 
Yeah, but it wasn't last weekend. Unless I'm mistaken, I don't. I didn't come down. Last Friday. Oh, last Friday. Oh, oh, it could have been Friday. You were here Friday, weren't you? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I thought you meant over the weekend during the event. Oh, I got out. Yeah, yeah. I was lucky. I probably could have got in all weekend, but I'm not sure. They might have set up a uh, a food eating tent, like a seating area. It was. It was kind of in the middle of the lot next door, so it would not have been a problem for me, but then I think they may have extended it and added a tent. They did not attend the Italian festival. I, I, I didn't either. How come you didn't attend? I'm still Ryan mad. Lysars? I'm still mad that they moved it from Hurdle. Oh. What about Connecticut Street? Well, I could see being mad about that too. Okay. But I think Hurdle was a the longest <laughs> that was there quite a while. Place that Hurdle I think was, it was the there for about running. 30 years. 30 years on Hurdle. I did not realize that. I used to love to go there. No, you got on it. Hurdle. It's in the fridge. Because the music was fantastic <laughs> when they first set up. Hmm? You know, the music on Hurdle. They had great oh, yeah. jazz. MD 2020 you know, cold. Starting with Don Menza. <laughs> He'd bring a half a dozen guys. So. Yeah, I remember Jocko used to play there. Yeah, Jocko did. He had me sit in once. Me and George Kunz. This was way early in our career, the developmental stages of our career. We went to see Jocko and he uh, called us up there. And uh, we did a number. It was, it was kind of nerve wracking, you know, because I wasn't really oh, ready he used to, to bring do something all like people up on his stage. One gal, singer, uh, she died maybe a year ago. Mm -hmm. Can't think of her name. No. It'll, it'll come to me at three in the morning. Oh, that's good, GT. Thank you, George Apple. Appreciate that. Out there, go to the Italian festival. Any, uh, any of the viewership? It looked nice. I had it. I was live streaming it just by remote control with our with our booth cam. I and, hear people. Uh, and Mary came down. I hear people liked it. I, liked it seemed it to go than, over well. Uh, better than Outer Harbor. Yeah, that's the impression I got. Was people liked it. The, when it, the first few hours they were complaining that it was too spread out and stuff, but then it got a little critical mass, you know. And, uh, but right out here? Yeah. yeah. But and I think it was a success. Maybe after a few years I'll stop being bitter. Don't ever stop being bitter. It's good for you. That was my Who's favorite. bitter out there? Richard Lambert, are you bitter? Shirley Mayer, she's not bitter. George Apfel, he's certainly not bitter. I'm not either. Ryan's bitter, though, because they moved the Titan Festival from Hurdle. And I heard that they don't have I Got It anymore. They don't have I Got It? <laughs> no. So what's the point of even going? What is that, a ride or something? Game. It's a, yeah, it's a game where you throw, you throw the little red balls into a grid and try and get a cubie down. <laughs> I got a fish. Yeah, you have to win across, win down, fish. or diagonal, and I then you win. win some good prizes. Oh, you win whatever they have there. They have year. a oh, sounds, fair. Sounds like everybody knows Fest. about this. I won at Canal Fest. Well, I always do. What's it called? Red Ball. I got it. You always. I got it. it. It's an old traditional yes. carnival How do you game. Do that? Huh. I, I've never. See, won. I learned something in Lounge Academy. Typically, every week. what I do. If, I, if I'm just there and I'm playing, I don't win. Like if I just happen to be at the festival and I'm with people and I stop in, I don't win. But what I do is I go there specifically to play I Got It. Wow. Get in the car, park, walk to the I Got It tent with the mindset that I'm going to win, sit down, win, get my prize, go back in the car and leave. <laughs> I've done this every year 
at the Canal Fest, and I used to do it at the Italian Festival too. And I would Did you always go win. this year to the Italian Festival. No, the Canal Fest. Yeah. Did you win? I went. I went four times this year. Did you win? I got it. Only the time when I went by myself and specifically went to the I got it thing. What did you oh. win? Some kind of orange stuffed bear. Wow! But, but last year That's I got worth it. Last year oh. I got a practical prize. I'll give you five hundred dollars for it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> last oh. year I, I chose a an eight by eight glass <laughs> baking dish as my prize. Well, see now there's something utilitarian. <laughs> I, I ate some, thanks. You okay? Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Is uh, Mary coming tonight? She's not. It's her night off. Oh, tonight. all right. So it's just, just the boys so far. Well, we can go down the way and hire some girls if you want. Well, we are televised, so I don't know. I'd probably get in trouble when I get home. <laughs> oh, she thinks she's watching us? Oh, yeah. Mm. It's a new paradigm. We're all being watched all the time. She, she might like it. Watching you with the girls. She might. It could be exciting. You've had girls that just scatter around you. Oh yeah. Some beauty. Yeah. yeah. Now, did they uh, they cut that out on during the summer? Statler. Um. No. You still no, played the lounge. Yeah, yeah, I went over uh, tonight. There, it was dead. There, there were no events going on, but okay. we stopped over and because there was there was a video. They wanted me to come down for a, uh, a video shoot yeah. for some promotional thing that's going on. So Ryan and I took care of that with Charles, the video guy. the company, whatever that is, promotingbuffalo.com. Next time I got a coupon for cabin cheese. We got some real good cabin cheese. We'll be lounging till 11 o'clock tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Keep us keep us going in the background of your evening. safety net so your night could never get any worse than us you always have us to fall back on and we have you to fall back on
got some people coming. Yeah, Bob and Nancy are back. I see them across the street. Oh, Bob and yeah, I figured they might be back tonight. I was hoping. Might be fun. Lots of fun. To be sure. When day is done. is me. If it got me going, I'd be all over that stuff. Surprised you're, you're 
not at work. You probably are at work. How little we know How much to discover Ron Grotos Well thanks Ron Can't get anything past you sir From lover to lover How little we understand Touches off that tingle, that sudden explosion, two tingles intermingle. Who cares to define what chemistry this is? Who cares with your lips on mine? What ignorant this is? Banks, Alaska, doing a concert. He's in the middle of a set. He's tuned into Lounge Academy. Ron Grados, great jazz educator, great musician, great friend. Ron Grados. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Alaska. No, he's never been here in person. He's an international star. He's creating a, a, an educational legacy for himself, I'm convinced. He's going through the entire, the entire fake book, you know, the, that fifth edition or whatever, the one everybody uses, all the jazz guys use it. It's the first one, they call it, they, first one that came out was called like the fifth edition or something. And it's, it's, it's a book that all the, all the jazz players call songs from. They're all in that book. And he started for his students, but this caught on worldwide. He, he started in the A's, and just, he's working his way forward. Some curiosity seekers out there. They don't realize it's a closed set tonight. It's too bad, they look like a fun group. Way through the whole uh, the whole fake book, so that everybody knows. A lot of the songs nobody's done in years, you know, or not everybody knows all the songs. He's going A to Z. It's going to take him like eight years or something. He's he's a good he's a good way through it. The real book. And he goes through it. And he talks about each one of his students. Yeah, it's the book. I mean, we got it here somewhere. I don't use it as much as other guys because it's more of a jazz thing. It doesn't have all the lyrics, but it's if you're playing with jazzers, 
Yeah, that's what they call the songs from. That's what the whole industry is made from that book. So he's going through and he's discussing, you know, wisdom about each song and how, how one may approach it, and then he and then he demonstrates it and does the song. And this is becoming a permanent archive out there on the internet. So the guys, yeah, I could see it. I'm convinced in 50, 100 years, even sooner, people are probably already for the ones he's already done use it as the the reference.
Carrie Mooney has a date tonight, so he can't be here. Which starts out with that. It's Buzz, Buzz, Busby Berkeley did all the choreography. Well, this was Gold Diggers of 35. I think it was in That was Gold. where the, the song came from, 42nd Street. The movie, though, not Broadway. Oh, okay, very good, yes. That's what Gary Warren wrote on Broadway. He heard all the movie music. That's right, Gary Warren. He does. The Goldman Diggers, that's right. Kate Fitzgerald, Arizona. I think he 
first six years. Maybe not. What a great number that was.
Imagine if there was, imagine if there was no Harry Warren, and half these songs would be gone. What if you go somewhere? September song. Is there a new She's kind of rowdy tonight. Well, the, the life of the party's absent. Someone's got to pick it up. <laughs> oh, good point. <laughs> I'm doing my best to be lively. Seem, does seem kind of quiet here. But I think, Mary, I think she's on the audience. I see her name. Maybe she'll speak up and say hi. Press one if you're watching. Press two if you're not. Give us the finger if you're watching. The thumb. Where'd she go? Well, I assume she's at home. <laughs> she called in sick today. She told me she didn't stay at home and I'll meet her. I screwed up. <laughs> this would have been like one of those 60s movies. Yankee. 
you go through Connecticut while you're out in the uh, no, New England? Uh, mainly, uh, Maine. Just Maine. Massachusetts. Did you fly? No, no, we drove. You drove. We drove. Well, that's the way to see the see everything. Sometimes we veer off and take side roads, so sometimes you know, we huh? come back. Thank you, sir. New York City. Where did you go? Hey, went to Maine. Oh, Maine. 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 I wish I were there. Well, now you are there through the miracle of Facebook. We wish you were here too. You're not here, so they can be live. Richie said it's not the same place. Richie's not the same, we can tell you that. We haven't been able to do in a few weeks. If we don't see her each day, we miss her. Gee, what a thrill. Each time Bob kisses her, believe me, I've got a case. Laughing face, see the winter. She makes it summer. Summer can take some lessons from her. Picture a tomboy in lace.
Just imagine someone Waiting at the cottage door Where two hearts become one Who could ask for anything more Loving one who loves you then taking that vow Nice work if you can get it And you can get it, Nick Won't you tell me how Thank you. 
night and day under the height of me there's no such a hungry yearning burning inside of me and the torment won't be through till you let me spend my life making love to you day and night night and day I hope Mary was listening to that one. That's that's her favorite song.
You're watching Lounge Academy. You're part of WAP. If you're watching, you're, you are Lounge Academy. That's what a lounge is. A lounge isn't something you watch. It's something, something you're in, right? You're automatically a lounger. Whether you're here or at home or wherever your device is, it is now a lounge. If you are lounging wherever you are, it's a lounge. And we're lounging at WBIG TV, Buffalo's Choice of 25. Lounge Academy t shirts now. We have merchandise now in our gift shop. It says, it says Official Lounge Cadet. I'll show you what it says. No, it's, it's facing. Yeah. Oh, the world wide. Could the audience see it here? Oh, the live audience wants to see it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, thank you. I also like Pete's garage. Uh, oh, yeah, me too. It's funny. They were always. Hi, Paul. How are you? Cambria. So not to confuse Paul Kokoda. Nice to see you, sir. He's out there on Grand. He bought Grand Island this week. He wanted a new place to live. He's going to start his own Manhattan project. If you're interested in merchandise from Lounge Academy, you want to see some, it's at uh, buffalodonuts.com. City of Buffalo Department of Coffee and Donuts. It's also where you go now to see uh, the Buzz Column every Tuesday morning. A new one is released around 6 in the morning. A new Buzz Column. Uh, the Buzz Column it started up, it ran in the Buffalo News for uh, over 20 years. Mary wrote it all that time. Lori Gibbons wrote it for a few years before that. And uh, it was dormant for the last year, and now uh, it's been picked up again by WBIG TV and uh, sponsored by the City of Buffalo Department of Coffee and Donuts and Buffalo and Lounge Academy. How about the They don't have it. You can't find the buzz column at the Courier Express. It's new and improved. You wouldn't think the buzz column could be improved upon. But it has been. It now has uh, s s sketches to help tell the story. The, the buzz column is like four or five different short pieces of local interest, you know, like. And uh, now, there, now there's uh, sketches to go with it. Mary Quinn's Goldman sketches to help tell the story. People like it so far. We did two weeks of it, two issues. Tuesday morning will be issue three. I can't tell you what's going to be in it. Yeah, yeah, it's about what's happening around town. It features different personalities and places and things to do. And, so you could... Um, there's a shortcut to it. It's uh, thebuzzcolumn.com. Yeah, yeah, thebuzzcolumn.com. Or you could go to Buffalo Donut, where you go to everything else important. 
and you'll see it in the menu. I'm looking forward to this week's issue. So, Paul, you got moved into that new house. So I saw the picture yesterday. You're sitting there like with a drink, looking at the view, and I couldn't believe you got out of your old place. And he's in his new place, right on the water on Grand Island. It's beautiful. I think it was $100 million they said in the paper. They were going to build a peace bridge and said Paul Camry got a new house. So there goes the bridge. We'll keep waiting. He's going to build his own bridge for the, so he doesn't have to pay the tolls. he's facing over here. I think he's facing Canada. Because it was a beautiful view. Otherwise, you'd see like like an oil distillery, right? You're looking toward the, toward the us. Which is fine. I like that kind of stuff. Mary likes it. It's fun to sketch. Thanks, Diana. I actually designed that myself. I, I'm a wannabe artist too. On a clear day, rise and look around you, and you'll see who, who you are. On that clear day, how it will astound you. shines every star you'll feel part of every mountain sea and shore you can see from the near although you never heard before and on that clear day on that clear day you can see forever It's getting dark early, Barry. It's nice to have Gaia here. Gaia's here waiting for her tax refund from the Hot Lounge Academy. That was a horrible story I read there. Gaia? Felt bad? Jeez. It's terrible. Oh, just some tax problems one of the uh, lounge cadets is having having trouble getting a refund in a timely fashion just to put new house plans on hold and everything yeah real shame she's made out of money though don't let her fool you 
Mount Cadet in question. It's very resourceful. No, fortunately, fortunately we got our refund. It's John Curry. He's at Lunch Academy. And he's looking great. Isn't he? He looks like a million bucks. He's John Curry. The busiest musicians in town. Always has been. Yeah. Every time I see you, I see you all over the place. It's John Curry is here to stay. Desiree. 
Right, what the hey? Good evening, Cactus has raised. Let's hide all the cadets. He's our documentarian here. Documentarian. They don't eat any meat. You are the next Alfred Hitchcock, right? The Cesar. start doing cameos. so light. It's dark so early now, it's okay to play this. It's nice to see Scott McCausland out there. A real lounge cadet. If I look at you Ladies and gentlemen, now the 
journey's gonna begin. And if I go back, bits of straw and string, I'm only doing what those rabbits do. Play this song? I think, I think this was one I, I had ambitions of being able to play. Yeah, those this one has a lot. Of, this one has too many pages. No wonder I don't know why. How could a summer know? How could a summer have a nose? <laughs> Until the day one comes along. 
but still I'm sure you'll do. So until the day one comes along, I'll string along. song or oh, that is that's on one of your jackal cds you recorded there yeah i remember i, I do remember it no. and i'm gonna have to learn it the original song was about a hispanic guy named angel oh really and everybody just misinterpreted it oh angel <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's see. how things happen it is the show. We call this the middle of the show, right? We're right here in the in the heart of things. Was this after intermission or before? There is no intermission. We play by higher rules. <laughs> Guess who 
I saw today, my dear. Bob Davis, they're both back in town. Oh, yeah. Somebody loves me. Somebody loves me. 
I wish I knew who she can be worries me for every girl that passes me I shout out Bob Davis, ladies and gentlemen. When he comes back from the band. 
What key is that in? I don't know. I'll find it. That's right. When I come back. Hey, maybe it's in here. Maybe I have time to find it. Do you have, is that in here? Well, there was a game that they just got great, man. Thanks, John Curry. <laughs> yes, it's here. Good. All right. Thank you. You're very generous. So Nick said he wanted to sing, and then he wants to uh, to warm up. So if, uh, we'll keep the music going. We'll keep it going up there. All right, we'll do it. Let me find something we haven't done for a while. Let's call the whole thing up. Where is that other song? Not in here. You could have an hour of looking through music. <laughs> and have all these. That is what we're doing right now. <laughs> what was the what was, what was the gig you just played? It's too bad your uh, your uh, your bass is in the car there. He's a ref. We haven't uh, played together in so long. Warming up for you, Nick.
Musicians Club all day tomorrow, inside and outside. Wow. Where? Out Other musicians? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, a good one. Uh, that's usually a good one. What's that? Yeah, it's going to be all day. Let's see. Where's that? Uh, Michigan and Broadway, right? Michigan and Broadway. It's free. Uh, indoors and out. I want to do the same one, but. Here to work on this. Uh...
Howard's turn. jazz pianists get to hear them live we're lucky here at lounge academy gregory evans is here everybody He's in the lounge in front of his 62 inch television set, watching Lounge Academy. Someplace warm and air conditioned. Right, Gregory? And Mrs. Gregory?
I guess I'll have to play Oh yeah, gee And get myself a clown's disguise Then learn to laugh like Pagliacci With tears in my eyes You look You look the same I'm afraid the masquerade it's over and so is love and so is love that is kind of a bummer that's why songs are though. They're they're either all up or all down, right? It's, if it's just lunch, that's all over. It's not that's so bad. That's bad enough. Well actually often it is. Yeah. somebody you know do a graceful oh, you know, yeah, it's, it's jarring yeah so, it's nice. the night is like a lovely tune beware Hard to see on an evening such as this They both give the very same sensation On an evening such as this Your lips are much too close to mine Time.
lost in each other's oh, arms. Let's get lost. Let them send out big fat alarms. And know they'll think us rather rude. Let's tell the world we're in that crazy mood. Oh, my only love. 
will still be whispering. If my throbbing heart should ever start repeating that it is tired of beating, then I'll be tired. That you couldn't accidentally write without being a great songwriter. Lounge Academy, and we call you Lounge Cadets. And we're okay with all that. Especially on Friday nights, because we're doing this. Every Friday, right here on my wall. Feel free to share. Wow. 
We're never open any time. <laughs> Unfortunately. Not being open. It's <laughs> like when they're not open. Forget about it when they're open. Up at dawn in. Sleepy and yawning. Still the taste of wine. Then I remember your mind and I've got a world that's fine What's before me? Routines that bore me Punch the clock at eight But what a lucky guy I am Got a woman that's great. Adam Bombs, Cape Canaveral, and false alarms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you've got a world that we we've got a world that swings. I'd like to take you on a wild, wonderful adventure. Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose that bell that rings. Cause I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string. Sitting on a rainbow, tied the string around my finger. The string reminds me of mine and I've got a world that swings Adam bombs Cape Canaveral and false alarms Half the universe is up in arms So I flip a little too Until I'm holding you What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle we can live like kings If you remember your mind then I've got a world that We've got a world that we Got a world that swings We've got a world that swings We've got a world that swings this was from the great Buddy Love, world's greatest lounge entertainer. It's great having Barbara Fisher with us tonight. She finally got home.
take my smile It just means I'm lonely Love me till this day has passed And then more good women Building in a soft wind's day to go away with pain. Don't misunderstand. You are no concern of mine. Yeah. <laughs> kind of messes with you. In a kind of a shaft kind of way. <laughs> Barry was here earlier, Barbara. Maybe he should be out there somewhere. Have you met Miss Jones? Someone said as we shook hands, she was just Miss Jones to me. Then I said, Miss Jones, you're a girl who understands. I'm a man who must be free. And all at once I lost my breath. All at once was scared to death. All at once I owned Earth and I own the sky Now I've met Miss Jones And we'll keep on meeting Till we die Bob, Nancy, and I And we'll keep on meeting till we die. Miss Jones and I.
vegetables? How hard do you want these vegetables? Yeah, just set them on the bar. Sure. Hi, Nancy. Great having you back. Thanks for bringing Bob. It's Nancy and Bob. There they go. Off to another show business destination. Gershwin tune. From something from Strike Up the Band. songs.
picture you upon my knee, just tea for two and two for tea. Nobody near us to see us or hear us. No friends or relations on weekend vacations. We won't ever know near that we own a telephone. They will break and we'll awake and start to bake. Big fat sugar cake for me to take for all the boys to see. We will raise a family, a boy for you and a little girl for me. Can't you see how happy we will be? Do one more by request. I requested it. Yeah. And then Richie's going to play us out yeah, with the national anthem. Slow tonight, boss. Slow. Well, you know, without the, without the big boss here, you know, it shows you. Yeah. 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 This is the market drop right now. It did. Everyone said, screw this. <laughs> They're probably over in my house. <laughs> This is for Barbara Fisher and Gregory Evans, Bill Jenkins, Kathy Moses, MKG, what's it all about?
Shadrach. Yeah. And Hell David. Yep. Hell David. one for Bill Jenkins. sound normal to people. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. That's how it works.
clean up, you know. Yeah. I'll be damned. Someday. I love this song. We'll build a home on Grand Island to hide. You and I, shiny and new. Cottage for two and fill. Rich. To me, that song is about, is about Einstein saying he could, he could, if he had a tel telescope powerful enough, he could, he could see the back of his own head. So, so there's this couple who are seeing the whole future of their life in the same way. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Wow, what a great way to see it. See the backs of the, you know, see the kids come and go and they'll be left alone. Well, but it'll be cool because they'll still be the folks who live on the hill. It's beautiful. How far is the 
journey from here to the star and if I ever lost you how much would I cry how deep is the ocean how high is the sky Well, it's a great song, Barbara Fisher. Thank you. Richie's going to play us out with a little bit of uh, national anthem. Signing out early tonight, man. A little bit, a few minutes. No problem. Give someone else internet availability. That's right. There's millions of the network. What do they call those uh, channels? They call it something. 79,000 per unit in the internet world, cyber world. Is that right? Something. There's, some, there's something in there. I forget what they're called. Packets. Packets. No, not packets. Well. WBIG, lights out. Beautiful, Rich Sellers. Thanks. I just uh, took this apart last night and oiled it and everything. It's like... Oh, it sounds action. strong. Yeah. Yeah. It's real raw right now. Back to being raw. This concludes another day of broadcasting at WBIG TV. Buffalo's Choice of 25. Thank you for spending your lounge hours with us here at Lounge Academy. And we'll do it all again next Friday. We're every Friday from 7 till uh, usually uh, roughly 7 to 11. Plus or minus. Depending on Barbara Fisher and Barry. I'll do that. I'll do that, Barbara. And uh, we'll see everybody next next week. And uh, if we don't see you at uh, Donut Tuesday, on Tuesday, we're probably going to be doing a live telecast from the uh, Sidewalk Donut booth to find out what the man in the street has to say about, about whatever's on his mind. We will find that out. And uh, we'll see you again here in exactly one week. Right on my wall here. Right, Richie? Yes, sir. Goodbye, Barbara. Goodbye, everybody. Keep lounging in the meantime. Be back soon, Mary.